or hi. Cartagena de Indias, the fifth largest city of Colombia, the administrative center of Department of Bolivar, the large port on the bank of the Caribbean Sea. Before arrival of Spaniards, the district of Tudes Cartagena was inhabited by the Indian tribes speaking the Caribbean and Aravaxki languages, which were engaged in fishery, collecting and primitive agriculture. White stepped into the coast in these parts, Spaniards from Alonso de Oqueda's expedition became the first in 1509. The Spaniards who landed on the land were attacked by aggressive natives, and having lost several people, receded on the ship. In 1510 the participant of the same expedition Vasco Nunes de Balboa found it. In 150 kilometers to the west from Cartagena, Santa Maria Lentigua del Darien city, but in 1515 he was burned by Indians, and the most part of inhabitants are killed. After that Spaniards for two decades lost interest in colonization of the southern coast of the Caribbean Sea, having concentrated efforts on Cuba and Haiti. The only visit of the area by Europeans during this period took place in 1527 when, on the instructions of the Spanish Colonization and Research Agency of Cosa de Contratación, the conquistador Rodrigo de Bastidas surveyed the coast and made his card. The Amplifying Activity of Other European Powers First of all, England and Holland in the basin of the Caribbean Sea and also the spread rumors about the gold cities in the jungle induced the Spanish government to draw closer attention to the region which was considered before as in promising, and on June 1, 1533 200 settlers under the leadership of Pedro de Herrera landed on the marshy coast. Having founded the city of Cartagena de Indias called so in honor of the Spanish city of Cartagena, Thanks to favorable arrangement and the comfortable day port of Gina Quickly, I became one of the major transit points in trade between the old and new world and the main port for export to Spain but in America of gold and silver. The population of the city promptly increased and by 1540 made already 20 hundred people. The richness of Cartagena involved a great number of the pirates hunting for the silver galleons leaving port. More than once attempts to plunder were made in Cartagena, five of them were successful, the first time the city was plundered by the French corsair Jean Francis D. A. Roberville in 1546. The famous English pirate and the traveller Sir Francis Drake became the most successful and impudent robber 40 years later. He managed to receive from Cartagena repayment unprecedented for those times in card gold peso. For strengthening of the positions and negotiations Drake at first burned about a quarter of the city. Then fairly pleased the Queen Elizabeth. The Spanish government seriously frightened and angered by progress of pirates for the next two decades invested about 10 million peso in construction of defensive works of Cartagena. As showed events of spring of 1697, these huge investments were ineffectual because of small number and low moral spirit of garrison and also weakness of command. During raid to Cartagena the group of the French under command of the Baron Puantus not only with ease took and plundered the city, but also destroyed a considerable part with such work of the strengthenings constructed by Spaniards, a withdrawal having taken away with itself surf tools. By the beginning of the next anglo spanish War in 1739 Cartagena represented one of the largest ports of the New World with the population over 10000 people and a prospering economy. The strengthenings of the city destroyed by the French were not only built up again, but also considerably strengthened. 
Nevertheless, British, having studied experience of raid of the Baron Puantis, didn't consider garrison of the city by the serious opponent and started preparation of capture of Cartagena. Volume of the city inevitably led to destruction of connectivity of the Spanish positions in the southern part of the Caribbean Sea, to the most serious problems in supply of troops in the northwest of South America and was considered by the English command as the first and obligatory step for establishment of control over the Spanish colonial position in America. The English squadron under command of the Admiral Vernon arrived to Cartagena at the beginning of March, 1741, having brought more than 12000 soldiers of the forward in case. Plus about 11600 people was made by crews. The ships of a squadron bore on board about 20 hundred tools. Forces of invasion were resisted by 4,000 Spanish garrison under command of one of the best admirals in the history of Spain of Don Blas de Lesso. Strengthenings of Cartagena contained about 500 tools. The siege of Cartagena proceeded three months. British made several attempts of storm, but Spaniards managed to defend the city. Defeat near Cartagena predetermined in general war results, unsuccessful for British, plans of expansion of the British Empire on the South American continent were broken. The famous British historian and the philosopher Arnold Toynbee told about it, Cartagena is the reason why South America doesn't speak English. After reflection of attack of British in the history of Cartagena came so-called the Silver Age, 1750-1808. Characterized by continuous growth of economy, inflow of a great number of immigrants both from Europe and from other regions of Latin America, rough construction and considerable investments in improvement of the city. An end to the period of prosperity was put by the general decline of the Spanish Empire aggravated with occupation of the mother country by Napoleonic France. Growth of separatist sentiments in the Spanish colonial possession supported by British didn't pass also New Granada. On November 11, 1811 Cartagena was proclaimed the capital of the new independent state the connected provinces Nova Granada, a part of garrison faithful to Spain was partially killed, partially fled the city by the ships. By this moment in a mountain part several months the self-proclaimed free state of Cundinamarca, with the capital in Bogota, existed Nova Granada. Rivalry of separatist new groups with each other led to the first civil war in the history of Colombia. Spaniards also didn't stop trying to return control over Nova Granada and in December, 1815, after a five-month siege, occupied the city again. Their separatists could beat out only in October, 1821, also after a five-month siege. Military operations, hunger, epidemics and the termination of trade led to the fullest decline of Cartagena. In the middle of the 1820th the population of the city made less than 500 people, generally former slaves, and almost all his buildings lay in ruins. Some restoration of the city began only in the 1880s, after construction of the railroad connecting port to the internal regions of Colombia. Sustained economic growth began in the 1920s years, in connection with opening of oil fields and construction of the oil pipeline to Cartagena. Since then the city became the large oil port. In the second half of the 20th century in urban economy tourism begins to play more and more significant role. In 1980 historical monuments of Cartagena 
fortress, the main square with cathedral, street. Piatster's Church, the Palace of Inquisition, the University Building were announced by a monument of the World Heritage of UNESCO. On September 26, 2016 in the city the peace treaty between the government of Colombia and insurgents which ended civil war in Colombia was signed. Cartagena is located on the bank of the Caribbean Sea. The city lies in a zone of tropical savanna climate, with rainy summer and in the dry winter. According to a census of 2005 in Cartagena, 978,600 people lived in agglomeration, about 1.3 million. The modern ethnic list of citizens consisted as a result of mixture of immigrants of Spain and later from the Middle East with the local Indian population and black slaves delivered from Africa. Racial structure of the population White minus 22.9% Metises minus 38.9% Blacks and mulattoes minus 36.1% Indians minus 1.2% Cartagena is most black of the large cities of Colombia. About 3 slash 4 citizens Catholics. Level of street crime is quite high that is typical for the large cities of Latin America. Foreign tourists quite often become the victims of robberies. The source is in specified 2059 days. Economy. Cartagena possesses modern diversified economy, being the third most important. After Bogota and Medellin. The economic center of the country. Primary branches are. Tourism. Main destination of Colombia. Industry. First of all, petrochemistry, oil processing, production of construction materials. Services sector and trade. Logistics. Main port of Colombia. Construction. In the city and its vicinity, several free economic zones with preferential tax treatment and customs administration are located. Transport. Cartagena is served by the international airport of Rafael Nunes. Yata Seat Ica Skies With a passenger turnover about 3 million people a year Flights to all main cities of Colombia and also to New York, Montreal, Quito, Toronto and Panama City are performed from the airport Natsayanani Highway No 90 known also as Central No Karagskaya Road, connects the city to Barranquilla and further to Caracas and Highway No. 45. Magdalena Road. To the central regions of Colombia and further to Ecuador. Public transport is presented by 35 bus routes. Now. February 2015 Works on start of the centralized transport system Buses the express is moving on the allocated strips Are conducted by Transcribe The port of Cartagena accepts tens of cruise vessels annually Earlier in the city there was a railroad Education Technological University of Bolivar. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.